Hey you guys, Dr. Sean Hashmi here with uh, Kaiser Permanente in Woodland Hills, California. I'm one of the nephrologists here. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about how to pass a kidney stone. Now we've talked about kidney stones in the past and the one thing I keep saying is size matters. The most important thing in a kidney stone is how big is it? If it's less than about four millimeters or so or less, most likely it's just gonna pass by itself. You don't need to do much, you just need to hydrate yourself a lot and keep a strainer because we want to know what the composition of the stone is. If a stone is larger than four millimeter, then as the size gets larger and larger, the chances of it passing by itself get less and less. So sometimes your doctor may give you medicine to facilitate the passage. Two of the medicines that we use and have used in the past include things like calcium channel blockers like nifedipine. And the one that we tend to use a lot more frequently now is tamulosin, which is an alpha blocker. Some of you guys might know it as Flomax. Now, these medications can help facilitate passage, but ultimately, if the stone is really large, let's say 10 millimeters or above, sometimes you need surgical techniques to help pass it. So what are those? Well, one of them is shockwave lithotripsy, where you actually go and break the stone, and that allows passage of the stone. So it'll just break it apart, and you can go in, and we call that a ureteroscope to go in with and actually pull the stone out. Lately, with the advances in medical technology, we've been able to use a laser in terms of certain stones that are very near toward the entrance that we can actually hit with the laser, break it apart, and then actually pull it out. So there's a lot of options that are emerging, but in terms of passing a kidney stone, size matters. And if it's small enough, it'll pass by itself. If it's a little bit larger, you may have to take a medicine and a lot of water to help pass it. And if it's very large, your doctor may tell you that he has to remove it surgically. Uh, this is Dr. Sean Hashmi with uh, Kaiser Permanente in Nephrology. Thanks so much for watching How to Get Rid of a Kidney Stone.